So when I was thinking of dressing up in head to toe leather, this isn't exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> oh well. Scouts, it's time to get that leather worker badge. Hey Scouts, Scout Leader Wickedy here. And good Scouts know how to make use of all the bits and pieces after a hunt, and that includes the hide of your kill. That's where the leather worker badge comes in. First, let's check out the list. Looks like some simple enough stuff, hunting, looting, and crafting. This is Appalachia after all. First up, the exam. Scout exam terminals are located at Pioneer Scout Camp and Camp Adams. And as always, I've linked the exam answers in the description below. Let's start with the crafting. Ooh, and we don't even have to track down any plants for this, what? Thank Mothman because tracking down the plants while doing the roboticist badge was a major pain in the So you'll need to craft five pieces of leather armor, one piece for each portion of your body. You know right away how to make these armor pieces when you leave the vault. I imagine knowing how to work with leather is just an innate trait of Appalachians, much like how Nords have a battle cry in Skyrim. <laughs> You also need to mod leather armor five times. Learning armor mods is super easy. You can learn it just by scrapping the pieces. And you also know how to mod armor pieces right out the vault as well, with the mods uh, boiled leather being a given. It also doesn't matter what level you make the pieces or even if you keep them. And just one of each will do. We will need to craft a few more things, this time in our camp or at a workshop. First up, the armor workbench, which if you're a possum scout, you've probably made many times already. Just make a new one and this will be checked off the list. A bearskin rug is something any hunter usually has in their trophy room. I first found the plans for these from taking over a workshop and the plans can also be found in the White Spring Resort sold by Cunningham at the Creekside Lodge. Good day, sir. Interested in a bit of sport? Fertilizer producers can come in a few different forms. First, you can build a Brahmin pen after you find the plants for it and have that count. Or build a producer at a workshop or a phosphate deposit. Sunshine Meadows is just one of the workshops that has a phosphate deposit spot. And last, we gotta build some mounted heads. Actually, you only need to build one. Finding plans for one of these should be super easy as they were very abundant with the Holiday Scorched event. So you'll see them in player vendors all over the place. Or you can just get your own. Stings and Things often rewards a mounted plan. There's also the Line Low quest line with a few fun side quests that come with it that also have different mounted plans. And that's it for crafting. Now I guess it's on to gathering a ton of hides. You know, we probably should have gathered all of these before we did all of our leather crafting. Oh well, in any case, let me show you where to get all the hides you need. There are four animals that we need five hides from each. Brahmin can often be found at Flatwoods, at the free range event, and outside this pond by the Pleasant Valley Station, Or you could just pick up some hide without hurting these dearies on the rooftop of the Red Rocket Station in abandoned Bogtown. There's always a ton of hides up here. Radstag roam all over, mostly in the forest and the Savage Divide. Hides can also be looted from the hanging animals as well. A static spawn for Radstag is also at the White Spring Resort. Or you can pick up quite a bit of Radstag hide bundles at the treetops right above Camp Venture. Yagwai hide drop from Yagwai, which can be found at a few places, such as the tracks outside of the mountainside bed and breakfast. 
There are two at Dolly Sots Wilderness, and sometimes three at Middle Mountain Cabins. You can also pick up a couple of hide bundles right here west of Lake Reynolds. And then there's Deathclaw Hides. Ah, Deathclaw Hides. So some of you scouts that have been badge collecting for a while now may remember back when completing the Leatherworker badge was nigh near impossible, as Deathclaw Hides were not able to be found except as a very rare drop from foot lockers and wooden crates. I had tirelessly been hunting down some good locations to find the hides, even followed a rumor about Scorchbee's poo and dug through so many piles. I never found any from there though. I regret nothing. And then right after I finally found five and was going to make this guide, the 1.2.1.18 patch came out in July and addressed the issue. So lucky for all of you that don't know the early struggle. Deathclaw hides now appropriately drop from death cows from time to time. Thank Adam. So you can frequently find Deathclaws at Deathclaw Island. Two inside of the abandoned waste dump. And one at Thunder Mountain Substation TW02, just to name a few spots. They do weigh eight pounds each, so I am happy to scrap those. Scrap these at any workbench and it's done. The last things we need to do is take some pictures with our handy dandy camera of some mounted animals at different locations around the map. Appalachian Antiques has some really nice displays. Here we are looking for the Radstag heads. So I was having some trouble with my camera. I wasn't quite sure if it was because I had the atomic skin on it or a lens or whatever. So what I ended up doing to make the photos register is just craft a whole new camera and it worked just fine. Up at Black Bear Lodge, there is a very full trophy room. Here we need a shot of the Brahmin heads. And at last, we need to head inside the Van Lowe Taxidermy Shop in Lewisburg. On the second floor, there are three mounted cat heads that'll be the subject of our last shot. Snapping that shot of this sweet cozy cat is all that we needed and now we are done. Leather worker badge in the bag. Well, Scouts, thanks for checking out this badge guide. I hope that it was helpful to you with finding the animals you need and maybe made getting your badge just a little bit smoother. Be sure to subscribe if you'd like to join the troop and see more Fallout 76 content and Scout guides from me. Ever upward, Scouts, I'm your friendly Den Mother Wickety. Thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you in the next one. Bye!